The Salon family entered their son in a Duke University medical trial to see if his stem cells saved from cord blood at birth could reduce the effects of autism. What they saw over a few months they say was remarkable. Kristen Dickerson joins us now with their journey and new hope for so many families. Kristen. Yes, Brian and Meredith, good evening. Now the story of hope is one we here at NBC5 are especially excited about because it involves one of our co-workers, Amy Salon. This mother of two works behind the camera, but she was brave enough to get in front of it because she wants to help other families just like hers. In the Salon family's backyard, five-year-old Blake and his little sister Eloise share the joys of being siblings. Okay, so up the stairs, up the stairs. Which today is boosted by the entertainment of a GoPro. They laugh, they joke, they giggle. They're best friends and biggest enemies at the same time. Their parents, Amy and Pete, say those complexities are appreciated because their two children didn't always connect. No, no. And I would say a year ago, if you peeked in our window, you would see a very different mm -hmm. situation. Blake and Eloise didn't play together. Um, Blake wanted to play, but he didn't know how. Since birth, they said Blake was a unique child, but later came delayed motor skills, lack of speech, fixations and repetition, but the meltdowns were the worst. Autism took up 85% of our day and it almost paralyzing you. Look, there's Blake. Blake is. Then just before Blake's third birthday, he was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. You know, it is a very terrifying thing to hear. You know, worst fears come, come into your mind. He's never going to work. He's never going to have a, have a, you know, girlfriend, never get married. <laughs> Six weeks after that diagnosis, the Salon family found out about Duke University doing a medical trial to help children with autism. Dr. Joanne Kurtzberg is leading the research. But I do think that um, cell therapy is um, at least at a preliminary stage looking like it's really going to make a difference in the disease. Blake applied to be included in the trial and he was chosen. During the family's two trips to Duke, researchers used an IV to insert a fluid into Blake, which either contained his own cord blood cells, which were banked and stored after birth, or he was given another child cells, or not at all, in the form of a placebo. The study is blinded, so no one knows what um, their child received. What do you want me to do with this? The one to pick. Four months after Blake's first treatment at Duke, Amy and Pete saw a difference in their son. He was full conversations and, and interacting a, a, a lot more socially. He still struggles and he's definitely mm. very much still on the spectrum, but we've the changes in the unwanted behaviors that some comes, sometimes come with being on the spectrum have decreased. So to be clear, Blake is still on the autism spectrum, but some of the negative symptoms are easier to live with. This is Duke's second phase of this trial, and these results won't be analyzed until next fall. However, the trial's first phase, which is already complete, showed promising results for the children with autism who participated in the study. And we found that about 70% of the children improved getting their own cord blood. If this second trial also shows that cord blood is beneficial, Duke will work with the FDA to expedite approval of this treatment for all children on the autism spectrum. That will be very exciting um, because I know how challenging it is to have a child with autism. For Amy and Hello. Pete. Aww. Hi. Hi. This research has given them hope because they can see a difference in their son. Oh, okay, you need deep pressure? You need a little deep pressure? Even though they are still years away from seeing Duke's trial results on paper. Our parental instinct told us something was wrong when we, before we got the diagnosis. And our parental instinct tells us that Something something's happened. happening. Alexa, play Scar's TV talk. She just wants to be. This is a different kid than a year ago. Amy hopes that more people will open up and talk about what it's like living with autism. So others who don't have it will be more understanding during the most difficult moments that it can bring. 
He said, you're beautiful, such a sweet young man. We have so many resources available for you online. Amy and Pete have a powerful message about the great things the autistic population has to offer. They also have advice for any parent who just received an autism diagnosis, including a member of my own family. And you can see our full interview with Duke's lead researcher that is all available right now at NBCDFW.com. Meredith? Great story, Kristen. Thank you. And for